Welcome along, everybody, to the Grammar School at Leeds. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, it's great to see it. We're in the Lawson Library in uh, sunny Leeds. Now, I've got a couple of facts about the Lawson Library before we go any further. There are apparently 60,000 books in here. Ooh. There is the oldest librarian in Leeds. No, sorry, it's the oldest library in Leeds. Sorry, I got that bit wrong. So we are talking to data primary schools all around Yorkshire, including we've got Allerton. Can we have a cheer for Allerton? Askith, big cheer for Askith. We've got Corpus Christi. We have Hampswaite. We've got Harewood. We've got Horsforth. We've got Shaw Plain. St. Mary's, Valley View. We've got people tuning in from home, so a big hello to everyone at home. And most importantly, here today in the library, we have the beautiful people of 5BT. Yeah! Woo! Excellent. All right, so my name's Chris. Can we all say, hi, Chris? That was a bit creepy. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> I know where you live, Chris. <laughs> I watch you while you're sleeping. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. My name's Chris and I write books, uh, okay? That's, uh, that's why we're all in the library. I write books such as this book, Never Give a Duck a Pen, uh, Don't Put Dave in the Microwave, and my latest book, The A to Z of Completely Made Up Dinosaurs. If you want facts and figures, about dinosaurs, everybody, don't get this, because I made them all up. So, I love writing stories. Have you all written a story before? Yeah. Excellent. I love writing poems. Poems are the thing I love the most. Have you all written a poem before? Yeah. Awesome. And the other thing I love doing, I love drawing pictures. Do you all like drawing? Yeah. Excellent. I hope everybody at home and in the other schools have got a pencil and a piece of paper ready. You don't need them just yet, but we're going to do some drawing and a little bit of writing together in a little while. But before we do that, I'm going to read you a few poems. Okay, uh, then we're going to do our drawing and then we're going to have a few questions at the end if anybody's got any questions. So everybody uh, watching on their screens, if you've got any questions, save them to the end, but send them in, type them in, send them in, and we'll get to those at the end. Um, right, we need to warm up first though, don't we? We can't just read poetry straight away because we might pull a poetry muscle. You don't want that, that'd be terrible. So let's warm up everybody um, on the screens, everyone in the other schools as well. Here we go, after me. La. Oh, that's nice. La la la. Corpus Christi, I can't hear you. There we go, there we go. La la la. Excellent, we are warmed up. Right, what should we do first? What should we do first? Um, oh, I know. Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> let's jog with a sausage dog. Yeah. Let's drink juice with a goose. Let's get funky with a monkey. Yeah. Let's hang loose with a moose. Mm. Let's bake a cake with a... Snake. With a snake, very good, very good. Let's sing a tune with a... Very nice, a baboon. Let's go ball kicking with a chicken. Let's visit the moon with a... With a spoon? What? <laughs> a, a spoon is your best friend. Can, can you just keep an eye on him? I'm a bit worried about him. That's a raccoon. Let's lay lino with a... Rhino, very good. Let's make a fuss of a... How do you make a fuss of a bus? <laughs> a, um, a walrus, very good. Let's play Nintendo with a buffalo. Let's catch a bus with an octopus. Well done, my friend, awesome. Let's go knitting with a kitten, very nice. Let's go to the store with a 
It is a bore as well. Hey, you and me were like this. I tell you, brilliant. Let's climb rope with an... Hang on, you can't climb rope with the Pope. His hat will fall off. <laughs> with an antelope, well done. Let's draw with a... Dinosaur, thank you. Let's catch a cab with a... With a crab, very nice. Let's mow the lawn with a... With a fawn. You lot are on fire. Brilliant. Let's leap with a... With a sheep. Let's party with a... You can't say that, there's people watching. That's, that's a prawn. You never would have got that one, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yes, let's do all these things. I think I'm going to burst. Let's do them all right now. Ooh, what should we do first? If you use your imagination, anything can appear. The sky's the limit. Here we go. Just look at this right here. My friends, I don't know about you, but round about this time on a Wednesday morning or whatever day you're watching this, um, I like to have a little bit of crock and roll. Yay! So, arms out like this, my friends. Let's get everybody uh, at home as well, everybody in the other schools, hands up. I can see you, I can see you, hands up. Give them a shake, give them a shake. Let's get our clap on, come on. Well, that's good. Okay, here we go, here we go. Crock and roll, hey! Crock and roll, hey! Crock and roll, woo! Crock and roll, woo! Here we go. Crock and roll, huh! Crock and roll, huh! Watch out, look sharp, he's here. He'll rock you to your soul. He's the crazy croc that was born to rock and play some crock and roll. See his scaly claws grab his microphone. His singing is out of sight. He wows the crowd because his songs are so loud and he has plenty of bite. He's crocking all over the world, yes sir. He'll crock around the clock. Crock and roll all night, party every day when you hear this crocodile rock. He'll charm crowds with his croc charisma. Making music is his goal. Steals your heart like a thief. This boy's got teeth. Let me hear you, croc and woo, 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 woo. <laughs> nice. His backing band are the Antelopes, a better band you've never heard. They play along every tune, every song, while croc sings every word. But I'm afraid this band won't be famous because something happened the other day. As with a lot of rock and roll bands, musical differences got in the way. Croc has now gone solo because there could only be one winner. When the band had a fight, Croc showed his might and he ate them all up for his dinner. What? That's terrible. Sorry about that. That's a dreadful ending. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry, everybody. That's awful. Sorry, it's a bit sad, isn't it? That I'm sorry. Can we have a? Oh. Oh, hang on. We can save this. I do know someone who did make it big. He's a huge star all over the place. If he enters a room, people faint and they swoon when they gaze upon his furry face. He's sold millions and millions of records. His dance moves put fans in a fever. Let me hear you scream. He's everyone's dream, the one and only Justin Beaver. <laughs> Isn't he lovely? Yeah, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, and who's this? <gasps> little chicks, little chicks. Yeah, except one of them's gone now, but anyway, let's move on. Oh, now my friends, you know I said we we're in a library. Yeah, 60,000 books in here. Can you imagine that? How many words is that? So it depends how big the book is really, doesn't it? If it's just got one word in each book, it's 60,000 words. Hmm. Yeah, but seeing as I write books, I am fascinated by words. Words are weird, aren't they? Words are strange. Anyone got a favorite word? What's your favorite word? 
Oh, go for it. I like long words. <laughs> I think I speak for us all when I say, who? Hmm? <laughs> say that again. <laughs> what does that mean in uh, English? <laughs> Is it? I hope you never get that. That'd be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> Telling people what you've got, you'd be like, oh, I've just got the flu. Yeah. <laughs> Discombobulate. Oh, that's it. Anybody know what that word, that word means? Discombobulate. My friend, you're a walking dictionary. <laughs> to be taken apart, like a, like a piece of Lego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more favorite word. Have we got, got any other favorite words coming in? Not yet? Okay, let's go to my friend here. Say again. This time I cook a cocoonesis. <laughs> All right, yeah. What, what, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> you probably can't see him, but he just went, hmm. I'm just impressed that you remembered it. Yeah. Say again, sorry. Donkey. Chaos. What a, let's put them together, donkey chaos. What a great name for a band. Ladies and gentlemen, live on stage, donkey chaos. St. Chad's, trust them. Trust St. Chad's, donkey chaos. Brilliant. Let's have one more. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. <laughs> You're just making us all hungry now. Chicken wings. Well, I've written this little poem, my friend, about some words, because I find it fascinating. You know how some words mean one thing and they also mean another? It's confusing. See what you think. See what you think. Here we go. Can a lion, lion, a lilo. Can a frog get a frog in her throat? Does a whale ever whale? Can a goat get on your goat? Does a sheep ever feel sheepish? Is a broken down toad towed away? I know, I know. Can a wolf Wolf down a sandwich. Does a yak ever yak all day? Yak, 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 yak. Does a horse <coughs> ever get horse? Can a mole have a mole appear? A mole on a mole? I don't know. If you chuck a bucket a duck, does it duck? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Is it deer to buy a deer? I just, I, none of this makes sense. Do squirrels squirrel stuff away? Do badgers wear badges anywhere? Do fish ever fish for compliments? If it's furless, is a bear bear? Let's all just think of a bear bear for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! Does a crab ever wake up crabby? Uh, yeah. Can a swallow swallow a chocolate bar? No. Does a chicken run away because it's chicken? Yeah. And can a tuner tuner guitar? I don't know, so many questions, so many questions. That's just crazy, isn't it? That's just crazy. Right, now, my friends, I'd like to tell you if that's okay. Oh, yes. Can you give me a Zoom? <laughs> Excellent. Now, my friends, this next poem is about one of my favorite things to write about. And I hope you like it too. Superheroes. Superhero. No, beautiful. Give me your best superhero pose, everybody. <laughs> nice. Everybody in the other schools, come on, I can see you. Come on, give me some superheroes. Beautiful, beautiful, nice. There's a lot of superheroes out there, excellent. Well, when I was about your age, I used to read all the uh, superhero comics. Have you ever read a superhero comic? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love them. I still read them now, I think they're brilliant. So I used to go to my library. I used to get the comics and any superhero books I could find. And I used to read all the uh, comic strips, but I also used to copy the pictures. So if it was a picture of, I don't know, Superman, I would kind of copy Superman, but I would change the costume a little bit. So um, I would make up a new superhero, really, because it's dead easy to make up a new superhero. Tell you what, we'll, we'll try it in a minute. 
Okay, very quickly, we'll try it, because I'm sure we can come up with an awesome superhero with you lot. Everybody else can try it um, at home as well and in other schools. That will be good. But for now, have you got any favorite uh, real superheroes? Who's, who's, I say real superheroes, you know what I mean. Yes, my friend. Spider-Man's Spider one of the greats, isn't he? You've got to love Spider-Man, he's brilliant. Batman. Batman. I love Batman, yeah. Batman, Batman uh, well, you know when he's got his bat hat on? Is that what you call it? His bat hat. He kind of goes like this, doesn't he? I'm Batman. Hi, I'm not Batman. Hey, I'm Batman. He gets an instant sore throat when he puts his bat hat on. It's brilliant. Who else have we got, my friend? Superman, one of the greats. Okay. And, oh, Flash, he's the really quick one, isn't he? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, any others? Sonic. Does he count as a superhero? Sort of. Well, let's, hands down then, everybody, hands down. I'm sure you can think of lots more other superheroes. But here's the thing. This is what I used to do, right? If you think of Batman, for example, Batman, right? You've got a bat. Show me some bats, everyone. Give me some bats. Give me some bats. Hiya, hiya, hiya. <laughs> and then you got a man, right? And you get them together. It's Batman. It's easy. It's easy. Um, and then we've got, let's think, we've got, we've got some wonder. <gasps> if that's what wonder looks like. Isn't it? And then you got a woman who looks a lot like the man, yeah? But then you get them together. Wonder Woman, it's easy. Let's see if we can do it right now. Um, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got in the room? We have a glass of water. Yeah, we've got Water Girl with the powers of water. What powers would uh, Water Girl have? She can swim really fast. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, my friend. She can control waves. I, uh, not that kind of wave. You mean waves. Sorry, sorry. What else could she do? Oh, I love it. She's an army of otters. <laughs> an otter army. <gasps> that would be awesome. She also provides a refreshing drink. Ah, excellent. So there you go. There's Water Girl. Um, what else could we have? We could have Pen Boy. Pen Boy. I don't know. What powers does Pen Boy have? You've got a different one. Go for it. Stretcho. I love it. Stretcho. Everybody, that's how easy it is. It's dead easy to make up your own superheroes. Try it, try it, try it. Um, yeah, Pen Boy could draw stuff. Stretcho stretches. Bookman. <gasps> He's got all the knowledge of the books. Drawing that, you see, you see. It's dead easy. So that's what I used to do, and I still do it. I make up my own superheroes. I've done it right now. I've got one more poem to tell you, my friends, before we do some drawing. So get ready with your paper and your pencils, everybody. Uh, not just yet, not just yet, because I need to tell you about this superhero I created, who I was sat there one day, and I thought, ooh, I wonder if you can make a superhero out of absolutely anything. And I can remember putting my hand in my pocket and pulling out, not a mask, pulling out <gasps> one of these. Yes, a tissue. So can you make a superhero out of a tissue? Well, you can, but he's a bit rubbish. Yeah, he's not very good. Here we go. Is it a bird? You're right, it's not. Is it a plane? No. Let's just check. No, it's not a plane either. No, no look, he's flying near. Is it Superman? No. Is it Wonder Woman? No. no, it's Tissue Man. Oh, dear. He's half man and half tissue. Yeah. He's here to bring peace and fight crime. He's just not very good at it, and he loses all the time. Help, help, save me, Tissue Man. Through the sky, our hero darted. But it was so windy, he got blown back to where he started. If you're in trouble and it's raining, this hero won't impress. Don't bother calling Tissue Man. He'll turn into a soggy mess. <laughs> then if he tries to fight a villain, he's just no good at all. Tissue Man just gets ripped up or screwed into a ball. Hmm. Yes, Tissue Man is terrible. Well, apart from, I suppose, his superpowers might be useful 
if you need to blow your nose. Achoo! Yeah, he's not very good tissue man, is he? I'm sure everybody, you can come up with better superheroes than tissue man. Yeah, you should try that sometime, definitely. All right then, look what's coming next. Are you ready for this? Are you really ready? Yeah. Are you really, 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 really ready? Yeah. Hang on, my friend there, here's him. Come on, we've all... are you ready? No. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Then let's do it. <gasps> it's nothing. That's right. It's a blank piece of paper, and you know what you've got to do when you see a blank piece of paper. Yeah, you've got to you've got to fill it with something. Now, my friends, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're going to draw an animal, okay? Because one, I love drawing animals, and two, animals are fun to draw because they're all different shapes and sizes, aren't they? But instead of just drawing one animal, no, 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 we can make it, make it far more exciting than that. We're going to think of all the animals we can, our friends here in the library, our friends watching on their screens. And so type in if you have any ideas, because what we're going to do is we're going to make this animal up from all the different animals we can think of. We're going to create the weirdest looking pet ever. OK, so I'm going to draw mine here so you can all see it. All you need to do is grab your pen or pencil, stick it on your paper and copy down exactly what I do on here. I say exactly. It's not going to look exactly like mine. Don't worry about that. The good thing about this, by the time we've finished, everybody's is going to look a little bit different to everybody else's. So yours will look different to yours. Yours will look a little bit different to yours. And yours will look absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about yours. OK, so everybody, grab your pens or pencils. Wiggle them in the air like you just don't care. Just to wake up the magic a bit. That's it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And then in the middle of your piece of paper, we are going to start with one of these. Here we go. It's going to be a little circle. It's going to be an eye. OK, so we've got an eye there. Doesn't matter if it looks a bit like an egg, like mine does. Don't worry about it. And then you're going to do one more. There we go. Two round circles like that. Then two little dots in the middle. Here we go. Boink. Boink. So we can see where he's going. Excellent. And then maybe some eyebrows. Here we go. Whee! Whee! Something like that. Okay. So you should have a pair of eyes staring at you from your piece of paper. Now, don't draw anything else just yet, because the next step is we need a nose. So get typing in, everybody. If you can think of an animal's nose that would look good on here, let's get a few ideas, and then I will choose whichever one I think is going to look the best. I don't know. What do you think? A chicken's nose. Do chickens have noses? I'm not, they have beaks. Excellent. Western, you know what, Western, I think Western have got it. Oh, the elephants are coming. Yeah, we're going for elephant. The elephants are coming in. A rhino would look good as well. Oh, yeah, if, is it okay? If we're gonna go for the elephant. Loads of elephants. We've got a herd of elephants. Okay, elephants it is. Now you realize you've chosen the one that's trickiest to draw, but you'll be fine. Here we go, everybody. We're gonna start somewhere under his eye and go like this. There we go. As long as it looks something like a trunk. Go for it. Go for it. Here we go. We have a trunk. Thank you for the ideas. That's awesome. Elephants, rhinos, chickens, mice. There's so many we could have chosen. Should we get some water coming out the end as well? There we go. Excellent. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we've got eyes, we've got nose. Let's keep going. Let's have some ideas for ears. What do you think? Yes, my friend. Mouse ears, like the round Mickey Mouse type ears. Um, excellent. So get typing in, my friends, as well. Ooh. Rabbit ears, that's a good one. Who was the rabbit from? Cat ears, St. Robert's Cat ears. Is that, is that the name of the school? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, St. Robert's Cat ears. Nice to see you. Human ears. Ah. Oh, we've got another one. Crossgate. Get you with your fancy koalas. Ooh. How do you draw koala ears? 
I think, my friends, so many great ideas. Ooh, what do you think? What do you think? Mouse, cat. I think we're going to go for the cat. Let's go for the cat. Come on, then. Um, here we go. Here we go. Two triangles, really, for the cat. Something like that. Go for it. Go for it. It does go through the eyebrows, but don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. So thank you for the cat ideas. Yeah. Well, the mouse was good as well. They were all good. Here's the beautiful thing, my friends. After we've finished, you can always do your own because we've had so many great ideas. Brilliant, brilliant. So, my friends, we are starting to have the world's first uh, catafant or an Ellie cat. I love yours. That's brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> That's awesome. Love it, love it. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got eyes, we've got nose, we've got ears. What do you think, a mouth? Okay, let's think mouths. Um, is it a big one? Is it a small one? Is it going to look cute? Is it? Who said chicken again? You're obsessed with chickens. You know what? There's a great superhero, Chicken Boy. Yeah. That... <laughs> crocodile. Oh, cat. Who was Crocodile from? Do we know? Like everybody. Mrs. Gibson, we can't, we can't go against Mrs. Gibson, can we? Really? I, my friends, we don't want to upset these people, so we're going to go with a crocodile, unless my friend here can come up. A platypus. You know what? No. <laughs> it's a good idea, though, my friend. Let's go with a crocodile. Let's go with a crocodile, because it's nice and hard to draw. Ooh, here we go. We're going to do it in stages, everybody. So pop your pen near his furry bits, just on the side there. And we're going to go meow, all the way down there. Okay. Do the sound effects as well as you do it. it, it that's it. That's it. Excellent. Not that loud. Crikey. <laughs> all the way back up again. Here we go. Meow. Nice. And then we're going down again. And then we're going back up again. Here we go. And we need some teeth, don't we? Teeth, 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 teeth. Excellent. Right. Whew. Everybody okay so far? Yeah? Have you all got your... Should we get a little tongue hanging out at the end as well? Yeah. There we go. How about that? How about that? Excellent. Right, my friends. Let's finish this... Uh, peculiar pet off. Now we're going to finish off with a body down here. Before we get to the body, now we need a neck so his head doesn't fall off. There's one neck, it has to be. It's the law. Don't you dare say chicken. It's got to be a giraffe, hasn't it? It has to be. It, the giraffes are, pl are flying in, not literally, that, yeah. Death, okay, shot like we can't argue with the, our friends over there. Here we go then, giraffe it is. Now make it long, but don't make it too long because we need to finish off with a body down here, don't we? Okay, so long, but not too long. <laughs> What's happened down there? That's awesome, I love it, I love it. That's, a, that's brilliant. It's the world's best croco raff or something like that. Okay, so we've got spots there. We've got uh, hair down the back like this. Woo, excellent. Right, we're nearly there, my friends, nearly there. We're just gonna finish off with some questions in a little while, but he ain't got no body. Oh, I feel better for that. He needs a body. We're gonna finish him off with a body, 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 body. We've got a body, what is that? An orangutan? An orangutan, thanks. Right, an orangutan. Ch oh, spider's a good one. I like this. Oh, you know what, though? You know what? I think our friend, our friend down here has said chicken all along. I feel like, I feel like we should do a chicken just for you, my friend. Sorry, everybody else. Great ideas, orangutans. Great ideas, but 
we've got to keep chicken boy happy because everybody who's watching elsewhere you don't realize is just staring at me going chicken i want a chicken so it's starting to scare me so um if you were here you said you'd understand right then chicken it is let's get some wings i know and then let's get some little chicken look at this oh dear uh, we've got some chicken feet that that is beautiful isn't it you, it's the chickaraff it's the croco chicken chicken raffifant yeah that's it that's it okay my friends now listen we have to stop there because we've got to squeeze some questions in in a second but don't think we have to finish there because now you can always add a tail on later don't do it now don't do it now you can add a tail on later there's lots of great tails you can add there pigtail somebody said snake can you have a snake with a rattlesnake on? i don't know um now you need to color this in as well it looks like it needs some color definitely and also my friends the next thing you need to do you've got to give this thing a name what are you going to call it i don't know let's get some ideas kfc kfc what do you think my friend why not why not here we go we've got an idea over here susan it looks like a susan doesn't it yeah yeah where did susan come from mrs rocks we are mrs rocksby again yeah so my friends go on then right very quickly on the top of your picture what are you going to call this thing you know what i'm going to go for susan as well she looks like a susan to me susan there we go excellent brilliant what have you called yours i like it chikaraf chikaraf brilliant now my friends just before we move on to a couple of questions i'm going to leave you with something there's our drawing part now i'm going to leave the writing bit all yours because i'm going to give you the first line of a little poem that we're going to write about um this pet of ours so line number one so if you just draw yourself a number one okay i'm going to give you the first line of a poem and then you can carry it on however you wish now the first word of the first line is going to be whatever you've called your pet okay so susan chickaraff bob mrs roxby whatever you've called it and then is my new something pet okay that's the first line of your poem everybody so you need to fill in there with a word that describes this thing. So Susan is my new, obviously mine would be pretty. Not crazy, weird, strange. Majestic. Majestic, that's the one, my friend. So you need to pop in there a word that describes our pet. Mythical's a good one. And then I am going to leave it with you because you can carry on this poem um, because let's think there's lots you can say about our pet. Let's think, what does he like to eat? He loves to eat meat. That could be the next line. He, what does he like to do? How do we look after him? Do we have to clean his teeth? I don't know, I don't know. So, we're going to leave our poem there, but later on, my friends, if you could carry this on, where's he come from? He okay. comes from Leeds. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So I lead him on a lead round Leeds. That could be your next line. I don't know. I'm going to leave that with you, everybody. If you come up with some good pictures and some good poems, send them in. Send them in so we can all have a look at them. Uh, but for now... We've got to stop our drawing because we've only got five minutes left before we've got to go our separate ways and never speak of this again. So give yourselves a big round of applause, everybody. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now we have um, some questions. I'll tell you what, my friend here, could you ask the questions? Because then it'll be a lot more, a lot more exciting. 
Okay, you do one. Um, if, if you ask the question and then um, say who it's from, because it's not from you, it's from somebody else. Okay, here we go. How many poems? How many poems have I written? Have I written? Who's that question from, my friend? Oh. No, it says at the bottom. <laughs> I knew this would go well. I knew it would go well. Evie at Saltergate, can we all say, hi, Evie at Saltergate. Hi. How many poems have I written? What a great question, Evie. Let's think. I honestly don't know. Lots and lots and lots. I started writing poems when I was at school, um, when I should have been paying attention and doing other things. I used to write lots and lots of poems. I think I must have written hundreds and hundreds of poems now, maybe thousands. Some long ones, some short ones. Some ones in the middle. I really don't know. Lots and lots and lots and lots is the answer to that question. I don't know. But a great question. I really should count them up. Evie, I'll count them up and I'll let you know. But lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Okay, next question. Could you pass it along to somebody else to have a go, my friend? There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another question. Who's this from? Um, from Springbank. Can we all say, hi, Springbank? Hi. And the question is, who inspired me to become an author? Well, two people, really. One was somebody I didn't meet, and he was a person called Roald Dahl. Do you, do you know Roald Dahl? Yeah. Have you read his books? I used to read his books when I was your age. I still read them now, and I thought they were brilliant. James and the Giant Peach is my favorite book ever. You know, it's got massive fruit and it's got talking insects in it. If that's not a great book, I don't know what is. Um, so reading Roald Dahl books kind of fired up my imagination. And the other influence was my English teacher. When I was at school, I had a brilliant teacher. Have you all got a brilliant teacher? Yeah. Can we go a bit louder than that? Yeah. And my teacher really encouraged me to do as much writing as I could. So um, that really inspired me. Great question, though. Thanks for that. So I guess I'm saying listen to your teachers because they know what they're on about. Okay, we've got another question. <gasps> Why are animals such an inspiration to you? Why are animals such an inspiration? Thanks very much. Because, who's that from, sorry? Wheatwood. Wheatwood. Is that a real thing? Wheatwood. <laughs> Have we just made that name up? Wheatwood. It's an actual school, is it? Wheatwood. Wow, Wheatwood. Wow. Can you all say, hi, Wheatwood? I'm sure that's a made-up word. Anyway, um, what was the question? Animals. Well, one, I think it's really, really great fun looking at an animal and trying to work out what it's thinking. You know? So have you got any pets at home? You, what have you got? Two cats. Do you sometimes look at your cats and think, what's going on in your head? Not really. I'll tell you something. Though. I bet the cats are looking at you going, I wonder what's going on in her head. So I like to think of what, what cats, for example, would be doing. What would they be doing? Um, and also, it helps that, like I said earlier, animals are really fun to draw because they're all different shapes and sizes. So sometimes I draw an animal and then write a poem afterwards about the animal just because I enjoy drawing animals. Great question again from Wheatwood. Excellent. Oh, my friend here. I do like my poems to rhyme. Who's that from? Sorry. From, from who? Morelands. Can we all say, hello, Morelands? Hello. Good question, Morelands. Uh, what was it? Do poems have to rhyme? <gasps> no, I, all poems don't have to rhyme, but I like to rhyme because it's a bit more of a challenge, you know, because it needs a bit of a beat to it. And you need to think of some words to rhyme. Um, so not all poems have to, I just, I just like the challenge of making them rhyme. Yeah. Do you, like, do you like doing rhyming poems or? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good to mix it up, I guess. Mix it up a little bit. I think we have time for one more. What? Do excuse me. This hot off the press from Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca from here. Rebecca's in the building from 5L. In this. Do you know Rebecca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's all say hi, Rebecca. In fact, we could probably shout as you'd probably hear us from here, wouldn't you? Do you prefer drawing or writing poems? What a rubbish question that is. 
No, joking, joking. Um, do I, can I say both, Rebecca? Because sometimes I prefer writing, sometimes I prefer drawing, and sometimes the idea for the writing comes first, sometimes the idea for the drawing comes first, but I can't really separate them. Um, if I had to choose one, I'd say writing, I think, but only just, only just. Listen, my friends, we've got to go. We've run out of time. Can you believe it? Wow. I've had so much fun. I hope everybody's enjoyed watching. Um, I hope everybody in the libraries enjoyed themselves as well. Make sure you carry on your pictures and write yourself a little poem and send them in if you can, because I'd love to see them. Um, but we have to go. Make sure you keep up your writing, keep up your drawing, keep on being creative, everybody. It's been so good to see you. Thanks to this uh, marvellous school, the Graham School at Leeds, um, for having me along. Shall we give them a big round of applause? And give yourselves a big round of applause. Well, we've got to go, we've got to go. Can we just say goodbye to everybody watching at home and in other schools? Bye. And we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.